So thanks for joining us. And uh, could, could you start by telling us a little bit about uh, what, what the tea bag index is? Okay, yeah, we can. We, um, we came up with a method to uh, measure uh, decomposition in soils in a very, very easy and cheap way uh, using tea bags. Um, and um, the reason we, uh, we, we developed this method is that um, we found that there's a great necessity to have more data on how decomposition in soils exactly works and how fast this process goes in different parts of the world. Um, and of course, uh, the use of um, normally this process is ma measured using litter bags, which is very similar to a tea bag, only it's a lot more work to make them. And uh, as a result, there's not enough data on, on decomposition rates. Um, as scientists, we're not with enough to um, get the amount of data needed to improve, for example, uh, climate models. And um, with the help of the TBEX, we hope that we can set up a citizen scientist project that's large enough to um, to gather enough data. Sounds cool. Uh, to improve the climate model. Yeah, right. So I guess, yeah, so you said uh, a tea, so I'm, I'm wondering why tea bag? Is it just that it's easier to do? Or is there any other sort of bonuses ab about using tea bags that you wouldn't get from some sort of generic sort of method of constructing a, a litter, litter bag? Well, um, one thing is that uh, people are always looking at the standardization of a method to be able to compare different ecosystems. And it's very hard to find um, organic material, plant material, which is really standardized. And now we have this commercially uh, uh, tea, which is really nicely standardized and also available all over the world. There's a, a whole network of trading companies that use these met this tea. So we have two in one. We have standardized organic material uh, in bags already that can be used uh, immediately in the soil to have a reference all over the world. Nice. And use. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, um, you, you also use two different types of tea. Yeah. 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 I so think that's uh, another uh, important difference with uh, the more traditional litter bags that you use. Yeah. Normally one would make a time series. So that means to get a proper overview of the decomposition in soil, one needs several moments in time that the litter bags are harvested. What we do is use, we use two different types of tea. Because we want to standardize the method as much as possible, we chose a very large tea company, yeah. or at least a tea, because yeah, it's, yeah, it's readily available yeah. all over the world. Yeah, it's good so that's idea. the reason we're using this certain brand. Yeah, yeah. But what we use is green tea. Yeah. That's very leafy material, very easily decomposable. So whenever you put that in the soil, it's readily broken down by uh, fungi and bacteria. Yeah. And we also use um, rooibos tea, mm. which is um, more or less woody material. Mm. And that's a lot harder for, um, for microorganisms to break down. Yeah. So the, the rate at which this happens is a lot slower than the rate at which the green tea is down. Yeah. And having a um, weight loss of both the more difficult and uh, more labile materials mm. um, gives us a lot more information than just burying uh, one type of litter. Mm. It's, like a it's also possible now to have a, 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 a decomposition curve constructed with two tea bags only in three months' time, because normally you need actually a year to be sure to have the whole uh, series from easily degradable towards the more difficult degradable material. And now, by using these tea, two T types, in three months' time, we have actually two parameters to construct a curve like that. Yeah. So it's like a, a T for time substitution. Yeah. yeah. A T for time substitution. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I guess um, I guess being having a bit of a statistical background, I think about the the uncertainty like uh, in in estimates. So you say two different types of tea, you can estimate the two parameters. Can you also get um, measures of uncertainty for those two, or do you need sort of extra types of tea? Mm. <laughs> um, 
what we do now to estimate uncertainty is um, um, burying, of course, different sets of tea in similar ecosystems to see what the uh, variance is within uh, ecosystems as compared to the difference between ecosystems, yeah, yeah. Uh, as is also um, in the paper. And that's, um, from what we can see, that's, um, it's very reproducible, what we're doing. So the, the estimated curve is very constant for a given ecosystem. Right. Um, and we're also burying the tea and take them out in time to see uh, what curve you will get if you use the traditional method. Yeah, yeah right. Excellent. So I guess, um, uh, w what have you found out uh, using the tea bag index? Now you've got this nice standardized method that's easy to sort of take around different, different areas around the world and you have taken it to lots of different continents already, haven't you? Yeah, so, yeah. So, so have you have you found out anything using the tea bag index that wasn't uh, that, that wasn't known previously? Hmm. Um, as you say, we've we've planted them in uh, in different continents, working with fellow scientists or scouting groups, um, but that was more aimed at um, developing the method as it's presented now. Hmm. And uh, now that we've proven this method to work, we're only starting to gather enough data. To um, really make new discoveries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. early days. So I'm confident that we'll, we'll make them, but uh, to know there's not anything really, no, not new. really <laughs> worth mentioning, <laughs> not new. Fair enough. Yeah. So I guess uh, future plans then. So uh, what do you plan to do with the tea bag index? Well, actually, there are th two things that we want to do. We hope to get enough data from all over the world to connect these data to the uh, soil database because the soil database only has um, abiotic um, factors in there. We try to connect that to the more processed data which are gathered by the tea bags. We want to use this method with farmers to look at the, the health of their uh, system. We call it soil health, but it's a difficult uh, concept as it's not really defined yet. But uh, to look at the different uh, microorganisms and the functioning of these microorganisms in different agricultural settings, like conventional and more organic farming, for example. That's a, a way we're heading. And also to look at um, microbial uh, communities within the tea bags and collect them all over the world and uh, check um, the decomposition, what's taking place in the bag, and to the uh, microbial community. Yeah, right. And something else worth mentioning that we're working on is um, the idea has been received very enthusiastically by a lot of teachers from uh, primary schools and secondary schools right. as a tool to show what's going on on the, in the ground. As decomposition is a very essential uh, part of the global carbon cycle, mm. most, it's very easy to show that things are growing, so the photosynthesis part is kind of... Uh, relatively easy to explain and to experience for uh, students, whereas decomposition is a bit more difficult to make visible. Yeah. So um, we're planning on making an uh, educational kit, um, including some tea bags and some experiments that, um, that students can do with them, showing that decomposition is faster in warmer uh, circumstances, for example. Sounds great. So, um, do you need to use uh, unused or used tea bags for this? So, do you drink the cup of tea first before planting it, or do you use un unused tea bags? Uh, if we were sponsored, we would have been uh, <laughs> using drink, drink tea, I think. But uh, as we're aiming at standardization, yeah. uh, we use fresh tea. Yeah. Uh, oh. We test with people uh, making tea before they were planting them in the soil. Mm -hmm. But we noticed that there's many different ways of making your tea, yeah. and that would be uh, too much of a source of variation. Yeah. That, uh, well, that's a shame then. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's been great talking to you about this. Good luck with it. Um, Thank you. Um,